Hey girls, um, I'm actually going to make this a really quick video on my phone here just because I didn't have time yesterday to record a video and I don't really have time today to record a video either, so yeah. But last week's video was so awesome, I think I can afford to be really lazy and lazy today. <laughs> Too, the same as Rosie, like I didn't get as upset because I've had a lot of pets die, so I just kind of it's still sad, but I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know, I'm not desensitized because I still cry when they die, but I was sad too, though. As soon as you said there was a cold snap, I was like, oh no, the bat, <laughs> but yeah, and you should go to your local library, do it, Steph. I see your face! It's been so long. <laughs> we finally get to see you again. I don't know why I'm speaking in an accent like that. It's just too much fun. <laughs> oh my. Uh, you can tell I'm tired and going a little crazy. This is so boring. I'm sorry, don't watch this. I mean, do watch this. But don't blame me for how boring it is. Hi, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Uh, Sophie, I hope you got that job. I don't know what job you were interviewing for, but I hope you got it. You should tell us about it. If you didn't get it, I'm sorry, but I still kind of want to know what it was, just because you really, really wanted it, and I don't think you said what it was, so you should tell us what that job was. And I hope the interview went well, even if you didn't get it, which I hope, hopefully you did. We'll see. Um, Rosie. Hi. <laughs> Um, I, I started laughing when you said you were doing Much Ado, and now I'm super depressed because girls kept dropping out on me, and I can't do it. Like, ugh. <laughs> I'm still, somehow, I will find a way to do this play, because no one else is doing it, and Beatrice is one of those roles, one of those dream roles of mine that I've always wanted to play, and no one was doing the play, so I thought, I'll do it myself. And so I, I went through my church, you know, see if the, the kids my age would want to do it. And some did, and then they just kind of dropped out, and there wasn't enough. So I can't do it. So my awesome poster design is going to waste. Still going to use it, though. Still want to do my Shakespeare Network idea thing that I was talking about. I don't know if I ever talked about it, actually. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use Kickstarter to fund a production of Much Ado. I don't know when I'm actually going to do that. I might wait until fall. But, ah! I wanted to do it so badly. I want it. I have all Beatrice's lines memorized. Like, I have for several months now, and I had half of them memorized before that. I just... I want to be Beatrice. So badly. <laughs> so I'm going to have to live vicariously through you, Rosie, in your place, so record lots of clips and stuff through practice and whatnot. Because I'm very sad. Yeah. And Tanya, yay for living your dream. When are you moving to to London? Is it like in several months, in like one month? I was just wondering, I wasn't sure how soon you'd be leaving Sweden. Because I don't think you gave us a specific date. You might not even have a specific date yet. Moving does that to people. Sometimes. Yeah. Did you give us a history of your place? You didn't! That's what I thought. I remember having a history video for every everybody but Steph and you. Why didn't you give us your history? Hey, we have 63 subscribers. Sorry, I'm just I'm looking at our page. So I hope you enjoyed my Wild West video. And I hope you guys are all having a good week. And I will put up a subject. Actually, can I just do the subject for next week right now? So, you know, I'm going over five minutes. But it's not going to count because it's technically the subject video too. So so I wanted to do something a little more creative. Um, kind of like Rosie did and kind of like uh, Tanya did. So I want to do stories. Everyone has to do a story. You can either write a story, write a poem, 
make a film, um, do a comic book, a drawing or something, but all of them have to start with when the phone rings. So if you're writing a story, it has to start when the phone rings. Same with a film or a poem and a picture. You can have like a phone ringing or something like that. So just, just that's, that's our challenge for next week. Creative story. Starting with when the phone rings. Just a random, random thing. It could be anything. It could be super random. It could be something that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It could be super deep. It could be anything. I'm probably going to make a film. Slash, I'm probably going to write a story and then make it into a film. But yeah, so you can either read us your story, show us your video, like make a film of it, read us your poem, show us a picture you drew. Oh yeah, you could go so far as to do the thing that Danielle and I did in that one video, The Dragon Cometh, where you just kind of make it up on the spot. Like, you could just sit there and tell us a story from your head with no, like, nothing written down. So, anyway. So there you go. When the phone rings. That's next week. Enjoy. I shall see you then. Did I just wink and then almost wink with the other eye? I double winked!